oxygen acetylene torch. An awesome tool for any shop. It can cut steel, it can heat steel, it can even weld steel with a different tip. So let's learn how to use this thing. It's not that hard. Yeah, I do care. Let's go. And as the name implies, it uses oxygen, which is the green bottle, and acetylene, which is very flammable gas, in the black bottle. They have gauges and regulators and valves. So when you open these up, you're going to set your oxygen all the way open. And then you're going to set your acetylene like a turn and a half. So if something goes wrong, you can come over and just quickly turn that off. Now we're just kind of a simple instruction on how to use the torch. And then you have the torch itself. The red line is the acetylene going in, and the green line is the oxygen. And we turn the acetylene on here and the oxygen on here. The oxygen is on here and then it is adjusted later as we ignite the torch here for the proper flame that we'll be needing to cut this steel, which as you can see is pretty thick. So we want a good hot flame. So let's ignite the acetylene first and then we'll bring on the oxygen. On your oxygen tank, or I'm sorry, on your acetylene tank you can see that this is the main pressure of the tank itself. Here is the regulated pressure which is coming out to the red hose. You can see anything above 15 is in the danger zone. So normally we're going to run that around 10. So you can regulate that with the regulator here. As you turn it clockwise, the pressure goes up. And then when you turn it down, it won't go down until you release some of the pressure out of the hose. Over here we have the oxygen, and that's the tank pressure. And then that's the pressure coming to the regulator, which we're going to set about 30 to 35 PSI. So we can turn that up a little. That's going to be good enough for what we're cutting. Those are the safety parameters that we'll be using. So let's start this torch up, cut some steel. So whenever you're using anything that has flame involved, you want to protect yourself and look at your surroundings as well to make sure there's nothing flammable around. So let's start this up. There's our acetylene valve. We're going to crank that open and you can hear it. And then we're going to strike it. That will strike the acetylene flame. There we go. It's burning nice and bright. When you burn it this low, see a lot of smoke coming out of there? That's too low. So let's get rid of that smoke. And now we're going to add what really heats it up, and that's the oxygen. See that how it changes? That gives it a more intense heat. See how there's a cone there? You want to get rid of that cone. Now if we were welding, you can use these to weld also. We would put a different tip on and adjust our cone for heat. Right now we're going to be cutting. We can turn that up, add some acetylene, add some more oxygen. Now this is what blows the steel out and intensifies it to blow the slag out. We're ready to start cutting. We're ready to go. We're going to put our magnetic square on there so we can get a nice straight line. And then we're going to use our acetylene cutting goggles. First preheat that a little, you start seeing the metal turn red. Then you're ready to hit the trigger and blow that out and start moving slowly. Keep 
get about a half inch to a quarter inch away. Depending upon how thick the metal is and how hot they're getting it. And you can see it's cutting right through there and blowing the flag out with it. Okay, so you're all done with your torch. What you want to do first is shut your acetylene off. Then the fire goes out and then turn your oxygen off. But what, what happens if you turn your oxygen off first? Why do you have to turn your acetylene off? I'll show you. Obviously it's reversed. Now. La 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 la. I'm going to turn my oxygen off first. There's still flame. So that's why. It's just easier. You turn the acetylene off, it kills it. That's better. And then make sure you turn your valves off on your bottles. It's always a good idea because there might be a slight leak. If there is, develops a slight leak, your tank won't drain out. I always shut them off. Some people leave them on, but I don't use it all the time. So I just shut the bottles off as well. You can purge your lines too by simply until the gas goes out. Turn it settling on. But you don't have to do that either. Some people recommend it as far as a safety thing, but I never do it. And I'm still alive. <laughs> DIY Duke, until next time. We're going to build something so cool, you won't even believe it. It's going to be something we can use in the Buff Dude's gym. Something that will work out legs, make them massive. Stay tuned. Peace out. Oxygen the settling torch. Awesome tool for any shop. It can <laughs>